Hello, beautiful. Hello, handsome. Green rats. Welcome back to CWA. It's 8.35 a.m. You know why I'm excited? Because I'm about to go get a fucking milkshake. Okay? And a pint of ice cream. Wow, how about those apples? Oh, hairspray. I don't see it. Me and forever. All right, so uh, guess what I'm about to watch? Hairspray. Oh, and it's on free. Okay, so I'm about to go get a milkshake, watch hairspray. I just want to say shout out to all of the cousins on this channel because we are some unique motherfuckers. <laughs> There's nobody on planet Earth that is like us. So y'all should know everybody on this channel is a bunch of different motherfuckers. And we live in that best life. We ain't going back and forth with no niggas. Okay. You know me. You know me. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, we something sparking. I've been working on it, putting in overtime. Bryson Tiller. <laughs> Bryson Tiller overtime. Pretty sure that's not. Hey, listen. One, two, three, all eyes on me. Oh my god, I cannot believe they made a new Harry at the Spy movie, guys. I just figured that out. And it's a cartoon, so I have to watch it. Temperance, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. So, Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, the Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Temperance, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Moon, the Empress, the Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. There's an idea. Go ahead, do that shit. You know what's all crazy? Whatever this idea is that you have, you might have it brewing. Like you could have like a start, like ah, I should do this. Like that's that might be where you at in the face. Like right? I should do this. I should do this. Thing is, what you don't know. Whatever this idea is, when you start putting the work into it, something's actually going to make you money, money. Like, make it money, money. Whatever this is, it's going to turn into a hustle that's going to bring in consistent cash. It's going to throw you off. It's like, what? Something's going to have to be tweaked a couple of times, maybe between seven and eight times. You're going to have to constantly tweak something or constantly have to work on something or it could take between seven and eight hours. But that's if you work on something consistently, it could take between seven and eight hours. Whatever the fuck this is, you put that shit together in that small amount of time frame. By the end of the day, you'll be making money in your hand cash. And actually, it's gonna be quite a bit of that shit. But this cre this this shit right here, it requires a high level of creativity. So, Eight of Pentacles and the Devil, the Eight of Swords. Here's what the question is: You willing to put effort into yourself? Four twenty two. You willing to put fast effort into yourself and make some shit happen? Make something from nothing and actually create a legacy. This is where your legacy starts. Or you gonna waste your time? I mean, shit, the, the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, the Eight of Swords, something, you're going to waste your time doing something else, whatever this is, you're going to feel overworked or overexhausted, overextended. Seven of Swords, the Tempers, then you're going to be pissed off. Right? You're gonna, as shit is, you're going to be right back to thinking about this this idea that you got now. So you might as well go ahead and do it. 
that shit gonna make you bank. If you work on that shit, it could take between seven to eight hours, seven to eight days, seven to eight weeks, seven to eight months. But Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, and Justice. Yeah. You have the opportunity to do something. And at this point, to be honest, this like a you can't fail at this. You literally got justice right up under the eight of pentacles. You can't fail. Something's gonna this is like um like passive income or um yeah, passive income. You have the opportunity to to I ain't gonna say flip money, but nigga, you can you can double triple Quad your money. Nine of Cups. You have everything that you need to be able to accomplish this. It's on. It's how well you want to use your creativity. If you don't want to be creative. You gonna gonna feel like a sucker for a minute. I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes. King of Cups, because you literally have the opportunity to to build and um. Build and franchise a fucking foundation for yourself. You know how you ever seen Gossip Girl? That's what I always revert back to. You ever seen Gossip? All of those families was rich as fuck, other than um, Lonely Boy, because I forgot his fucking name, Dan. But they was all rich. Families all rich. That's because they can't. They had legacies like. Passed down from generations and shit. This is your opportunity to start that. Whatever you have the opportunity to create, you have the opportunity to turn that shit into a legacy. That's going to be what you do. You know how people be like, who are you? What do you do? That's who you are. Whatever the fuck this is, that's who you are and what you do. How creative are you choosing to be about it, though? Because you don't psych yourself out. I don't know if I can do this. I feel like the time frame. So there's something about the time. Don't let time deceive you. Eight of Cups. And the Two of Cups. You're walking away from doing something together. So if you do something with a partner or if, you, if you're collaborating with some other person with something... You're choosing to walk away from that shit and do something solo. Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, you're going, you're doing something solo. That means don't even bother asking motherfuckers, is this a good idea? Because they're going to, they're going to give you, it's not const constructive criticism. You're going to get somebody that's going to tell you that's a bad idea. I wouldn't do that. And it's going to discourage you. You're not going to want to do it. You're going to want to walk away from it. Don't even bother opening your mouth to tell nobody. This is what I'm about to do. What do you think about it? Do it and put that shit out. And don't even bother asking motherfuckers close to you, is this a good idea? Because that's never a good idea for the most part. If you've ever been in any type of business, you know that. Sis, if you have never done any type of business, I'm giving you like the number one rule of the game right now. Don't even bother. Worrying about the opinions of other people before you even get your creative idea out. Whatever this is, do the prototype first and then ask motherfuckers what do you think about it. But by the time you get the prototype out there, you ask the motherfuckers what they feel about something. Whether this is a website or whatever the fuck, by the time you ask motherfuckers, what do y'all think about this? It's already done. Take pride in what you do because by the time when you're done with something, if you're completely satisfied with it, if you ask somebody else, that means if you're completely satisfied with it, you really don't need to ask opinions. You need feedback from motherfuckers that are actually participating in whatever the fuck you're doing, which means if you're selling something, those people that are buying from you are participating in your fucking business. Those are the people that you should be getting feedback from, not motherfuckers who have no intentions on actually even trying to support you anyway. What's this? You got that idea when it comes, go ahead and just do it. 
Exactly. King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. That idea that you got, that research, that whatever the fuck you're doing, keep that shit to your motherfucking self. Don't even bother talking to people. Don't even bother asking people what the fuck do you feel about this. What do you think about it? You the CEO. You the CEO. You are the employee. What do you think about it? It ain't it ain't they shit. It's your shit. You have the final say. So if motherfuckers brought different things to you, it's like, what do you think about it? You have the final fucking say. So why are you asking somebody else when you have the final say? If the boss said this is what the fuck it is, then this is what it is. You don't take opinions from the fucking employees. You do, but not in this sense. You know what I mean? And they ain't even employees because they ain't on your fucking payroll. These are just people from the outside sources that you're asking. What do you think about this? And it's not helpful to your brand. It's not helpful to you. It's not helpful to what you're doing. Is it your legacy? Fuck what they talk about. Because you're walking away from a partnership. I'm telling you now, somebody going to have the audacity to go against what I just said. You're going to ask somebody, hey, you want to partner with me or you want to do this? Somebody going to, they go, oh, okay, cool. You're going to get started. They're going to walk off on your ass. You're going to get mad. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Fuck this. I'm going to just start doing everything by myself. You're going to get mad. I'm saving you the time now. Just remember, you're the boss. You have the final say. If you had a bargaining department and motherfuckers brought these things to you, you pick one. These are what we had. You pick one. Do you like any of these? You would have the final say. So why are you asking somebody else to give you the final say? You better act like what you're doing is fucking important. That shit is an emergency. It's, it's, it's. And you've manifested this. Queen of Wands and the devil. Don't get scared now. You've manifested this. And you really ain't got a lot of time on your hands, but you got enough to get it done. You good up under pressure. You don't even have too much pressure on you right now, but you're going to if you decide to, to turn your head the other way. Decide to turn your head, you're going to have pressure. That idea, it don't expire. But your circumstances. What's this? Don't limit yourself. You're supposed to be challenging yourself. You ain't supposed to be resting. There's a brand new opportunity in front of your face. And it's it's an opportunity that will put you in celebrity status, emperor status. This is stay-at-home mom status. Stay at home, mom, big ass house, everything paid, and I do whatever the fuck I want to all day long status. Still run my business because I feel like it's status. Still get everything done. Still hit every last I mean, I, I, I wake up, get on my grind, and I hit it. I get, I get everything accomplished. Why? Because I'm a beast. I do a real beast too. All day, every day. Even if you lack, you make that time up. So you make it up like that. So why even, you got extra time. If you can do shit just like that, why even, why even, your wildest dream can come true right now. I'm talking about some shit that you don't, somebody could be just, I don't know, the diners I just posted yesterday. What if I, oh, like, I don't know, I'm just able to purchase a fucking diner and turn it into the exact 80s style diner. Now. What if that's the case? What if in two days I get that opportunity out of complete nowhere? But it's just right there. Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. I got the idea. I'm just waiting for the opportunity. You have an idea. You're waiting on that opportunity. You better need to stay prepared. And if you're prepared, that means you're preparing. You're in preparation. You got an idea. You choose to hold on to that shit and ask other people for the Other people just going to weigh your ass down. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Empress. Like I said, you're the boss. Why would you ask somebody? Ten of Pentacles. Your wildest dream can come fucking true. I don't know it. 
Why? Because when you move like a boss, think like a boss, act like a boss, talk like a boss, get boss like opportunities. Turn that lemonade stand into a fucking big ass corporation with thousands of buildings all across the country. Country. Countries. Temper is king of swords and fucking ten of pentacles in the air. You literally have this idea right in front of your fucking I'm so excited for you. You have the idea in front of your face. All you have to do is do it. Period. There's no better time than right now. You got everything you need to make it happen. What you doing? Star. You got everything you need. Everything that you need to make it happen. You already got it. So what are you doing? The start of six of and the ace of pentacles. It's your time to shine. What you doing? Gotta love us. Gotta like us. Trigger G's on motorcycles. King Cups. As you're taking your throne, it's a dude watching you. He feels like he's your best suitor. Which means if you're the empress, he feels like he's the empress. You're walking away from a connection. Another one is approaching as you're, as you're figuring your own shit out. You decide to upgrade yourself, get an upgrade. You get an upgrade on. Um, actually, you decide to upgrade yourself. You run into what the fuck you're supposed to run into. The strength. There's some people from your past that are watching you. Five of Swords, they feel some type of way. It's, it's you know. Not necessarily great words. They feel away. They don't care. And there's a new person. That's a one your ass. The start of six of wands, the ace of pentacles, the king of cups, and the strength. You look good up on that throne. You look good doing your thing. I think I should introduce myself because. I think I'm your best fit. This, this this dude, this new dude, he like, yeah, I'm your best suitor. Some of y'all, it's an old person that feels like they're your best suitor, but there's a brand new person that's like, nah, it's me. It's just me. All me. Yeah, you walked away from like, Relationships. Ten of Pentacles walked away from relationships and Queen of Cups, or not Queen of Cups, but Queen of Wands, Empress, and the Nine of Cups, you focus on yourself. The more you're focusing on yourself, the more you're glowing up, the more you're moving into where you're supposed to be, your status that you're supposed to be. Bracket, you're supposed to be. As you're moving through that that rank, the old person's watching you leave, the new person's watching you come towards them. Ooh, that was cute. I like that. Page of Wands. Everybody's watching your movement. One's watching you eat, one's watching you toward them. Yeah, he waiting. He like, I'm sitting on my phone. I'm just waiting for you. I got my eye on you. Yeah. This is like when you, um, you when somebody's leaving. And you don't walk them out, but you watch them from the window, make sure they get to where they're going safely. But he watching you at the window, making sure that you get to him. This is like, this is like, he patiently waiting, like how a groom would patiently wait for a bride to walk down. Not a bride, his bride to walk down the, um, the aisle. You know how I said that big build up? 
for the bride to come down the aisle. Yes, seven of pentacles. He patiently waits as you're moving toward him and into this amber status. He's sitting there waiting. Yeah, I was waiting for you at the top. <laughs> yeah, double devil. I was waiting for you at the top. You going so hard, your energy too too hard to pick up. I mean, it's too easy to pick up. Like it's too hard to too hard to ignore. Yeah, I was like, you have to know um, what you don't know. I preach this. When you, I don't know, like it just feels like when you when you reach the point that you're supposed to be at. Okay, this person is just waiting for you to get there. They already see. You. Their eyes are already on. Feminine, this masculine, this new one, his eyes are already on. You got two sets. The old one's watching you leave. The new one's watching you come to him. The new one is be quiet, though. I'm not going to interrupt you. I like to watch your process. Yeah, this new one. Be like, nah, you just sitting here waiting, patiently awaiting your arrival. Because I see you, you're on your way. Oh, and like, where the fuck are you going? Five of Swords, the magician, where the fuck are you? Oh, well, of course, you. Yeah, this old person is stressed that their uh, family may not be happening. Or, King of Cups, or. If they can't get their family back, is somebody trying to come back around? Just none of that shit. I'll be right back. 